What's up guys? Welcome back to another fun-filled episode. <clears throat> another rainy day. Uh, so, I apologize if it's loud. Right now it's drizzling and it's been off and on pretty heavy. So, anyways, uh, I needed to go to town. I was going to pick up some medicine for mom. We were planning on coming up here together and I was going to take her to breakfast and stuff. We were talking last night that she woke up not feeling the best. So, give her some of y'all's well wishes be very much appreciated not quite sure what's wrong with her but she just woke up not feeling the best she didn't even drink coffee this morning so that right there should tell you that she's not feeling very well so anyways i uh, just got back from picking up her medicine right there you can see and then stopped at walmart and picked up some groceries i wanted to get some some stuff to cook up for the cowboys game later not much you can do on a rainy day down here it's been raining basically the last since thursday uh off and on uh Day near pretty much the entire day. The pond is looking amazing. It's got quite a bit of water in it now. Uh, Thursday, and I think it's Thursday afternoon, it didn't have anything in it. And now it's the whole entire bottom is almost full. Don't let it fool you though, it's only a couple inches deep, but we'll take what we can. I think the water will actually stay inside the pond a little bit longer this time. Uh, the last time it had any water was when we had that tropical storm come through, so. Around that time, you were still over 100 degrees every single day, so the water evaporated pretty quickly. Now we're gonna have the high of about 81 in the, in the next week and a half, so that will be the high. It's gonna be mainly in the 70s, so the water should stay in the pond a lot longer this time. I'm hoping we'll get a lot more rain today to help fill it up a lot more and help water the yard and all my trees and stuff. I know everything's doing really good now. Uh, it's just a uh, it's a giant mud pit on the property. You walk anywhere, you just sink in. It's just been so much water. I think Dad got the rain gauge on Friday morning, and it said that we already had three inches of rain. Uh, <clears throat> just depends on where you're at, because up in Corpus, I think they only got like half an inch of rain, but we had one of those real big cells come over and stick around quite a bit on Thursday and dumped a lot of rain. And we're getting another big cell come through today. So, like I said, hopefully it'll be a nice semi-full pond. Uh, we would definitely need a major hurricane or just weeks of rain to be able to fill up the entire pond. Uh, when I was doing my live chat on Friday, whenever that was, on the main channel, I was sitting in the driveway and all the water from the gas station across the street drains down into Granny's pasture, fills up her ponds, and then it floods over underneath the roadway into my front yard and then out. And uh, the way we dug everything out, it looks like it was working really well pushing out a lot of that water so i don't think i'll ever have water standing on my property just based on the way that the the property is laid out with the amount of dirt we put in there and dug around it so it was a good thing to see I'm a little gassy this morning I was drinking a, a big red zero sugar i don't think i've ever had the zero sugar one before but it tastes pretty good and uh yeah, so that's what we're getting into. Like I said, the Cowboys play later. They're going to play the Giants. We beat them 40-3 to the first game of the season. I think it was the opening first day of the football season. But, yeah, we got to beat up on the crappy teams when we can. That way when we play some good teams and we lose, it's our record's not terrible. So I think we're sitting at 5-3 and three right now. Dolphins don't play this week. That's Matt's favorite team. They have a bye week, so... We're gonna cook up some stuff. It's gonna have to be indoor cooking or possibly out in the cabana. I got some chicken wings. I got three packs of them. I got some flats and some drumsticks. I'm a flat person. I like the drumsticks, but I just like the flats more. I got a couple of dipping sauces to put with them. I got some honey barbecue and then some garlic Parmesan. I was trying to think of something that mom would want on them. She probably will end up eating them just, I'm assuming she'll just eat them dry, but who knows? Her taste is still trying to come back from uh, the the COF, the COVID. It's been dang near two years now since she lost her taste and smell. She's been getting it back slowly. There'll be certain things where she's like, "Hey, I can smell it or I can taste that," and there's other things she just can't taste anything. Uh, I was trying to think of the last thing that we had. Oh, it was some chips Matt had bought. He bought some uh, like a dill pickle flavored chip. And mom couldn't taste it, which is weird because dad and I tried it. And I mean, it was an overwhelming taste. It tasted and smelt just like pickle. And it was kind of shocking that she couldn't really taste it too good. So hopefully she'll be able to taste these. I don't want her to miss out on a lot of stuff. A lot of things we cook, 
she'll only eat just a, a little bit of it and a lot of it she just is she just can't taste it and when you can't taste something it just doesn't make you want to eat it very often so anyways that's what we've been getting into uh, I saw another Ford Ranger at Walmart it was exact same color it was the same model as this one except they had some uh they had some good looking tires on it. I just wasn't a fan of the rims they put. They had some kind of black rims with like red on them. And I wasn't a fan of the red on it, but uh, they had a, a rack on the back as well with a big tire on it. It looked pretty cool. Uh, it was cool seeing another Ranger in the area kind of fixed up a little bit. And then there's one in Rivera that's got like a six inch lift on it that looks really cool. <clears throat> and that's the only thing they've done to it that I can see on the outside is just a, a lift on it. So it, it looked a little beefier than mine. Mine just has a, I think it was two and three quarter inch lift, uh, a leveling kit, I should say, not a lift. Uh, when you get the trucks, they have more, the front end is a little bit lower, so when you're towing and stuff, it'll kind of raise itself up some, but I got that, the spacers put on mine in the front, and it definitely leveled out the truck, makes it look a lot better, less less stock and a little more beefier. It's only so, so much you can do to a Ford Ranger, it's still the the little truck of all the different series and I still choose this one over uh, some of the Colorados I, I was in between getting a Colorado or uh, the Ford Ranger I wanted a smaller truck that would be good on gas and this one right here is a just a smaller engine it does have a turbo in it but it's good on gas and that was my things I needed four-wheel drive I wanted four doors so uh, when I take mom and dad places or something it's easy to get in and out of and then uh, just a smaller truck that wouldn't be a gas guzzler and so far it's checking off all three of those i'm very pleased with this truck uh, december 6 will be one year since i bought it i think i bought it when it had 57,000 miles on it. it's a used vehicle 2020 and now it's at 62,600. so i've only put right around 5,000 miles on it in a year which is crazy uh, when i lived in dallas i put just tons and tons of miles on vehicles always having to drive around real far and out here it's not the same so Hopefully it'll continue that way where I don't just put a ton of miles in this truck and be able to use it for a long, long time. I'm trying to pay it off quicker. Uh, I went ahead and paid ahead six months on it just to get ahead of things. And then whenever I uh, get paid with YouTube, it's only once a month. I try to set a little bit aside and try to pay ahead. And uh, if I go the full term, this truck won't be paid off till 2029 and I don't plan on going the full term. Uh, so once we start building the house, hopefully, uh, the channel will start kicking in a little bit more. My revenue will jump up some and I can stash a little bit back for that and then continue to build the house debt free because that's my plan. Try not to just bury myself in debt. So, so far it's working out for me and uh, I can't do it without you guys. If you don't watch my videos, I don't make money and uh, that's why I do YouTube to make money. Uh, sometimes I do enjoy doing YouTube and sometimes it's, it's like every other job where you just get burned out on it. Uh, this is a little bit different than a normal job. You don't have people constantly telling you what you're doing wrong. YouTube, everybody feels like they've got to tell you what the, what you're doing wrong and how to do something, and you just got to roll with it. Most of the people uh, do good, give good feedback. Some people just talk out their ass, and uh, some people don't have any building experience but still want to tell you how to build a house. And uh, like I said, uh, I do read the comments, and like I said, a lot of people do give you good stuff. Uh, a lot of people were saying to change the layout on the house and uh, dad sat down for a while he's really good at coming up with different designs and stuff and uh, I think the design he came up with is not the one y'all saw again it's a newer one and it gives me more room in the uh, the living room area I don't know did y'all just hear that blow-off valve this truck so I put a blow-off valve for the turbo and uh, whenever it shifts certain ways it'll go it just did that, so I'm not quite sure if y'all can hear that or not over the, the rain and sounds of the roadway. But uh, anyways, the layout Dad did, uh, he switched the, the laundry room and the closet to the bedroom now, which will open up to the bedroom. Uh, I may switch it up. I still kind of want the, uh, the laundry room to open up into the bathroom, but... It makes sense to have it next to your closet and open up the same way your closet does. So you just put your laundry in, get it out, lean over two feet, and put it in your closet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think I'm going to end up going with that. 
it does push the kitchen over a little bit and uh, opens up the living space a little bit more. So I have a little bit more options of where I can put my TV, uh, furniture and stuff like that. So I probably won't show that on the layout until after the concrete and stuff's poured out there. And uh, we're still just waiting to hear back from the, the company. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, I didn't want to have to pour the whole foundation ourselves. So like I said, I was going to hire somebody to do that. You just got to wait for them to respond back to you. They Initially, they put the all the information under my dad's name, uh, his address and all that, and uh, that wasn't the case. It needs to be under my name, and so we had to contact them and get that switched over, send over a new quote. I signed all that, sent it off, and that was on Friday, so we're hoping maybe tomorrow or Tuesday we'll get an email back from them, let them know exactly when they'll be here, and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot sooner than later, so I can go ahead and get this bill going. I hate having to say the same shit over and over in every video. Uh, when it comes to YouTube, people are impatient. Viewers are very impatient. They want to see a lot of progress get done. And if you're not doing something, a lot of them just don't watch. And uh, my views reflect that on the, the recent videos. And it is what it is. My channel is uh, unfortunately looped into the uh, building, building and homesteading stuff. And that's only just a very small portion of my life. I don't consider myself a homesteader. Uh, at least by the terms of all these you see on YouTube. Most of the homesteaders on YouTube are just full of shit. Most of them, are, they play it up for YouTube. Uh, I just, I know these people personally. I've seen them, been around them in real life, and what they put out on YouTube is just, uh, it's fake to me, and that's why I don't watch it. It just, uh, it, it turns me off, and I don't like fake people. And uh, there's a very, very, very small portion of homesteading channels that I do watch, and a lot of the YouTube channels that I used to watch, I just don't watch them anymore. Uh, everybody's out there for the money. That's why they do YouTube. and uh, They just have tons of uh, product reviews and commercials, stuff like that, in their videos that they're getting paid extra for. And I get it. You're going to try to make your money however you can. And if it's working for you, then good for you. And there's billions of people in this world that can watch your stuff, so not everybody's going to like it. That's the way I see it. Some people get pissed off when I talk about politics in my videos. And honestly, I don't give two shits if they don't like it or not. Uh, there's a lot of people in the world. There will be people that don't care if I talk about it and will still support me. And there will be some that will support and complain in the videos about it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to continue talking about it. It's not going to be every single video. It's not going to be the entire video talking about it. But I will pop off comments. And uh, just these groceries today... It was like $150 and it barely fills up the front seat. So that's that Bidenomics working for you. He gets on stage mumbling and bumbling with people in his ear telling him what to say, saying how great the economy is. And I'm like, anybody with half a brain goes to the grocery store and buys stuff and they know how expensive everything is. And uh, I was watching something on YouTube. I don't remember what, what channel it was, but they were talking about how expensive it is to build a house and to... Uh, for people to buy a house and stuff like that. And then you have the president, like I said, going on stage telling everybody how great everything is. And I'm like, that's why your ratings are just terrible right now. You're getting beat by Trump in every swing state. Then he goes and tells Ducey, which is a Fox reporter, that uh, he's not looking at the right polls, that he has 10 different polls that are saying that he's leading and that, that Ducey's only looking at two different polls. And I'm like, these are coming from different sources. You got New York Times, you got other places saying that uh, Biden's losing at all the swing states. And now he's losing the support with all the uh, Palestinian people that are over here, the dual citizens that can vote. They're all calling him Genocide Joe because he doesn't want to stop a war based off of the Hamas attacking Israel and stuff. So Israel's doing their, their thing. They're going to do what they need to do to protect their homeland, just like the U.S. would do the same thing. And unfortunately, the U.S. is getting drug into it. And it just blows my mind that the U.S. isn't doing more. There's been, I think, 40 different attacks. Uh, U.S. service men and women are getting injured. And all we've done is, that I know of, from what I've seen on the news, is a couple of different uh, strikes on, I think one was in Syria and one was somewhere else on a, uh, like a bomb depot that they had. I don't know. I just feel like if we had somebody else in office, a lot of this stuff wouldn't happen. When you have a leader, the leader of the free world that, is just a buffoon. I know I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm also not the president of the United States. And you have somebody that just falls asleep at meetings, bumbles and mumbles, and can't get sentences out, and is, in lead is the leader of the free world. 
and now he has his own side turning on him. It's just, it's, it's crazy. And I just think the end times are coming soon. And I don't think people are prepared for a lot of stuff that's going to be happening. I think next year you're going to start seeing a lot more crazy stuff going on than what you're seeing now, especially with the election going on. They're trying to keep Trump out of, uh, out of the office and trying to get him not to run again. And that's why they're keeping him in courts for every single thing while you have the president's son banging hookers and doing cocaine and stuff and finding coke in the White House and suddenly it disappeared. They couldn't tell who brought cocaine to the White House, but they can fu they can find fingerprints on a, a Dorito bag from 80 years ago or 30 years ago on a cold case. It just blows my mind on how many people don't have their eyes opening up to what's going on in the world. I know a lot of people watch my channel think the same way as I do and uh, they'll say in the comments they, they agree with certain things and you'll get the handful of people that will just complain about it. I don't know, it just blows my mind. Just be prepared. There's a lot of crap happening in the world and it's only gonna get worse. And I just flip the news on for five minutes and you'll see how crazy people are. All these lunatics going to the White House, putting their red handprints on the, the gates and stuff, and just saying that the blood's on Joe's hands. And I was like, I don't like Joe Biden, but he's not the one that went and killed innocent kids, beheaded them, went into to Israel doing all this stuff. It wasn't him that did it. And uh, unfortunately for him, a lot of his own support is turning on him. And it just is what it is. And like I said, I don't like the guy, but it wasn't his fault that this happened. And I uh, do appreciate that he does say that he does back Israel. Uh, I know he's trying to still win a political race here in 2024. So he's trying anything he can to try to get back those, those, those people that are turning on him. And, I don't know, it just, my mind's blown with everything that's going on, and that's why I'm, I'm just glad I live in a small town. I don't live in a big city because all these freaks are out there protesting, constantly doing all that stuff, and it just, uh, it blows my mind the way this world works. And, uh, I'll just keep doing my thing, living small, living out in the country, and keep preparing for craziness that's going on in the world. I hope you guys are too, so. Anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling. This video is a, a doozy, and I'm sure I'll lose a couple of subscribers that, uh, can't stand when I talk about Trump and uh, the way the, what I got to say about it is uh, oh well deal with it if you want to watch the channel you can if you don't then you don't have to that's the way I see it so anyways hope y'all have a great day I'm about two minutes away from the house we're gonna unload all this stuff cook up some food and we're gonna enjoy a Cowboys victory later on so hope you guys guys enjoyed the video when I say guys I mean everybody I don't just mean just men guys as in women men whoever so you can hell I don't know nowadays a guy is a woman so Anyways, hope you have a great day, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm going to stop talking before I get canceled off YouTube. Peace. Bye, guys.